Well, I originally didn't come into this directly, uh, and a lot of people don't. They come in through various methods, and I was originally in business continuity planning, which has a lot of implications from an information security perspective, and I sort of transitioned from business security infor into information security because there were just opportunities in that area, but one of the things that attracts me to it is it's so dynamic. There is always something new going on, lots of new information, and uh, I built up a pretty good network at the federal level, at the state level, and at the local level. So um, I think that it's an exciting career for people. It's not something that's stagnant. You have an opportunity not only to be involved from a technical perspective, but from a business perspective, because it's not all about technology. You really have an opportunity to work with your business colleagues. So I think that would be something that would be very attractive to women. I think women bring a lot of good leadership skills. They're very collaborative. They like to listen, and they are very good at leading teams. And all of these things are absolutely critical to being successful in information security because we don't operate alone. We operate in a much larger environment. And uh, so I'm hopeful that uh, I know the federal government is very interested, as are all levels of government and in the um, education community, to try and encourage um, women, young women, um, to be involved in, and to make a career. And, and a lot of women may think, well, I'm not really all that technical, but if you have good business skills to bring, that's important because you can be that bridge between technology and the business suite. And I think that uh, women shouldn't be afraid if they don't feel they're maybe as technical as they might be. I think there's still good opportunity for them.